As someone who loves to travel, this is a familiar drive. But for many of us, it's been a long time since we've taken a flight. That's why we're on our way to the airport to give you a glimpse of what it's like to fly for the holidays in 2020. So we're heading on a flight today. Not exactly sure what to expect. This is my first time flying since February. But before we go, we checked with USF College of Public Health professor Dr. Marissa Levine for some last minute advice before our flight. Mask wearing is absolutely critical. And make sure you keep it on through all phases of your travel. Just don't take uh, it off. Right. I would also bring bring an extra mask, bring some hand sanitizer and or yeah. wipes. Because Anything you can do to protect yourself from both the airborne and contact would make a lot of sense. With all that in mind, we packed up and headed off. Now, it's not yet peak holiday travel time, but I was still surprised by just how empty the airport was. The checkpoint where you would normally show your boarding pass to get out to the gate has been removed, so I was able to walk right onto the people mover. We are approaching air side F. Sir. The first spot I felt crowded in with other people was the line for TSA security. TSA doesn't like a shooting video in this area, but I can tell you this was the spot where I felt like I didn't have any control over how close I was to the people around me. The process went smoothly though, and from there it was straight out to the gate. Okay, we're on our way. Heading to Philly today. As I got on, I was handed a clear bag with refreshments. Oh, thank you very much, appreciate it. And quickly moved back to my seat, 15D. American does not block out middle seats, and all the seats in my row were filled with other passengers, even though there were other sections of the plane that were empty. Uh, they got us all squeezed in here. After speaking with a flight attendant, I was able to move back to another row with only one other person sitting across the aisle. We will now be walking through the cabin to ensure everyone is wearing a mask. Okay, cleared for takeoff. Minutes later, we were airborne. I think I see my house. As I settled in, I wanted to wipe down any surfaces I might be touching. The flight attendants announced they would not be serving drinks or peanuts, which is why we were handed a bag when we got on. A tiny bottled water, a hand wipe, and a pair of Biscoff cookies. Something. I then spent the rest of my two hour, 32 minute flight watching a movie on my phone. By the time we landed, it was already dark in Philadelphia. I'd have a short layover before Thank my return much. trip back to Tampa, just long enough to grab a Philly cheesesteak in Philly. Need something to eat after a long flight. This was the only other time I took off my mask the entire trip, even though Dr. Levine warned layovers in big cities could be a time where you're most at risk. If you're in a connection zone like uh, Atlanta or another big hub, remember this is now the mixing of a lot of people from lots of different places indoors. From there, it was about a 10 minute walk to my next gate. Uh, this is one of those spots that I'd be most worried about is the jetway, but every time I've gotten on, it's uh, pretty good. Hi there. This evening flight was even less crowded, only 55 passengers. Even so, I was still sitting in a row with other people, even though other sections of the plane were empty. The lights went off, and the next thing you know, we were touching down back in Tampa. Passengers did seem to disregard instructions to deplane one row at a time and did crowd up in the aisles, but the half empty plane cleared out quickly. Well, it's just after 11 o'clock and we are officially back in Tampa. Wayne Neuenhoff was one of the passengers sitting across the aisle in my same row. He and his wife both wore N95 masks their entire flight. I thought it was pretty good. It, yeah. it wasn't a lot of people, a lot of crowding. Yeah, everybody kind of social distance. Please stand clear of the doors. Arriving back, I had the tram all to myself. There were very few people in the airport. There were a few down at baggage claim, but everyone was able to easily spread out and keep their distance.